Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got a cool kit here I want to show you. This is a this is a super classic AMT 65 Lincoln Continental, and this is the original release. So I I, I look I can't find this on Scalemates. It is 6415-200, but it is an original release, probably um, about 1965. So, um, my friend Billy Bear sent this to me a while back, and when I got it, I was shocked, because I have the, or I've had the re-release of this kit, and I should have had it pulled already, I would have showed you the difference, but they had this kit, AMT released it a while back, I won't worry about it, but anyway, um, the exact same kit um, in a new box, new box art. It still looked kind of retro, but it's not the uh, same box art. Um, but anyway, look at there. Announcing to a new member to AMT Speed Advisors, Don Garlitz. Isn't that cool? Here, here you go. Look at this. Exclusive AMT spray lacquers, 30 wild colors and four custom finishes. Candy colors, metal flakes, solid gloss, and metallic. Too cool. It's just like a time capsule. It really is. A few of the AMT speed and custom consultants. Look at that. Crower cams, they're still around. Um, Pedrick Piston Rings, never heard of them. California Custom Stuart Warner Instruments. And I can't read that one. I don't know what that says. Well, let's open it up. It's, um, it's not like bagged or anything. It's, this kit's got some, it's got some wear and tear. The box had a big hole. I fixed that. But, um, I believe it's all here. Here are the cool decals. I put them in a bag. Look at that. Mr. Horsepower. AMT Customizer Alexander Brothers. Don't have a dang clue who they are. Moon Equip. That was sure popular back in the 60s. Firestone. Winfield Custom Shop. Jans. Racing Pistons. HRM. And then some racing numbers, which is kind of funny. Because either okay, I don't, these didn't come in this kit. I don't think they did because I'm about to say, ain't none of this. Ain't none of these no drag cars. This is the three ways I guess you could do it. But I don't. There ain't no. <laughs> ain't no Lincoln Continental or drag car. This came from. The customizing kit. I think that one must be the kit. 6415. No, this is it. What the heck? This is 6415. Right there. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Why, why they got racing stickers? That's that's oh well. Let's let's keep going. Okay, so and and if you've had this kit from uh, the new releases. This stuff should be the same. Chrome parts there. A lot of stuff off the tree. There's the custom grill. How ugly. I mean, I know that they thought it was cool back in the 60s and all, but I don't think it was very cool looking. I think the engine is in this thing. No, it's not. So, the... There is damage to the this, but that, that's easily fixed there. Easily fixed. There's, there are some screws already holding the body on. But I mean, it's just like the wheels were put on it. And I don't think Billy did this. The hood's mounted. It just pops into place. Well, sort of mounted. It's not really, it's not even in the mount properly. 
but the interior is just stuck in it along with the windshield so it's not painted or it's not in no, nothing's glued it's just just stuck together here is this weird custom it reminds me of the family truckster um, it's not that it looks like the family truckster but such a weird custom piece like you can make this thing a station wagon which is like really weird but this is the car let's see JFK was assassinated in a Lincoln Continental but his was had to be like a 62 or 3 maybe 61 2 or 3 something like that I think it hadn't been in 63 but has the reverse this uh, this model Lincoln has reverse doors on the back so has what you call I mean, some people call suicide doors so it's got that ugly weird roof that would go on here is if you did it in the if you did it in the uh, station wagon you would cut the trunk out uh, and this would go under so it'd be like you know like a the back of the station wagon here's the glass for that it's here I've got all the you know and if you had to have a part for this thing I ruined the body on the um, the one that I'd bought I melted it down I used paint remover trying to get a terrible paint job off I didn't know paint remover melted and that was a long time ago but it melted the body down so I've got all these parts so there's that honestly although it's ugly it was a pretty cool concept big glass top seats front and backs to the seats there and boy don't you know these things would ride I um I've ridden in some big LTDs and stuff in my time and they're just really they were just really nice riding cars and uh, now cars are so short so light that you get they don't ride the same they just don't ride the same there's the look at that a clear distributor why I wonder why they made the distributor in the clear parts that's weird tail lights maybe headlights there not headlights because the headlights are actually built into the grill so there's the missing wheel that was off the tree and the rear bumper here 1965 that's some old chrome that's neat I just dig old kits here's the um, I don't know what engine this thing had there's no instructions with it oh man look at this this even has the old wood wood grain like if you wanted to do the side of the car that's too cool I don't even know if the new kit had that I bet it did but um, this looks like a 65 what was out in 65 I don't know what what size Ford engine this was I know it would probably be a I don't know if it was an FE. I could kind of probably tell now. No, I can't either. Where are the heads at? FE engines. There they are. Yeah, yeah, it's an FE. So the FE engine is probably like a 406 or something. I don't know. Maybe a. I don't know if it could have been a 390. Could have been a 390, 352, 3. Uh. Let's see, what are they? There's 352. I think that's what they started with. Because like on a 390, even they even had 352 stamped in the block. 352, 390, 406, which 406 dates way back. And this may have had something like that. Um, 427. Um, they also had a 428. All of them based off the same engine. But FE engines used part of the valve part of the so the the valve cover would have covered the the head and part of the intake so the part of the in the intake would make up part of the um 
I'm, I'm making this way too confusing, but the part of the intake would make up part of the head or the uh, where the valve train would sit. So they always leaked. They always, if you ever see a an FE engine that's got any miles on it, they 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 leak. There's the oil pan, the reservoir for the radiator, exhaust. There's a neat little. I've never seen one of those. Let's see if I can focus that in. Look at that. It says AMT 3 and 1, 19. So I'll have to check that other kit. I'll have to dig it out and see if it's got that. That's neat. The little tag AMT, and it's got it in the old font. 1965 3 and 1. I've never seen that. That is really neat. So there's your firewall, your steering wheel, and the. Um, uh, red clear parts or, or like blinkers and so oh, that's got a little crack in it but that's okay because I've got spares no idea what that is and I've got instructions because I've got the other kit so this is a neat kit and again I want to thank Billy Billy Bear B A like bear aspirin I want to thank Billy for sending me this. This is cool stuff. I wasn't even expecting this kit when it showed up. There's a bug flying around right here. Moth. Oh, the Mothman prophecies. Um, but I wasn't expecting a kit. I was expecting something uh, from him, but not this. And when I opened it, I received this the same time I got the salt flat salts. Bag of salt from the salt flats, which is the most cool ever thing to get. And um, that was Billy that sent that, and he sent this kit. But I'm really appreciative to Billy and everybody that sends me stuff. I get stuff all the time, and I'm just amazed. Really, I'm going to put this in some plastic. I'm amazed that of the generosity that, that folks in this modeling community have. And uh, this is just one sign of it here. So there's the funky, the new, a custom station wagon version. Stock convertible, custom convertible. I still don't know where the drag stuff comes in at. Okay, so those are exhaust. Oh, and it also had telephones. I forgot. I, I saw those while ago and I went right past it. Made and litho, which I've heard that means printed in the USA. You won't see that much anymore. Uh, Salvino's kits are made in the, in the USA and I think maybe some of the Ravel USA kits are made in the United States but I'm not 100% sure but anyway Billy thank you for this kit guys thanks for watching this video and just bearing through me aimlessly talking but I think this was a cool kit that deserves some recognition uh, you should see you should just in, in person man this is just it's just so sweet oh by the way look at the tape marks no plastic wrap on these kits. That also shows you a sign of how old the kit is. That was originally taped. AMT didn't start see, uh, putting uh, shrink wrap on their stuff until like the early 70s. Or late 60s, early 70s. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have not already subscribed, um, I'd ask you if you'd uh, go down and press that uh, a subscription button. Well, you can't really press it um, unless you have a touch screen. So anyway, go down there and click it. That, that makes it more sense. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. All you have subscribed, all you that will subscribe, just thank you so much for all your support. Um, don't forget to go check out Hobby Nut Models. Link in the description below, as well as my second channel, Life's the Adventure. Go check that out. Also, Ruthie's channel, um, Simply Ruth. Go check her channel out. Give her a sub if you don't mind. Help her channel to grow. I know it's not a guy channel, per se. It's not something that I would... I um, think a lot of guys would go watch, but hey, you guys that have wives, send them over there. Give her a sub and uh, show her some love. And uh, my mom's channel is linked in the description. b Boss Kitchen. Um, all kind of stuff in the description below. So go check all those things out. And hey, we are appreciative of you. Because you got us, me, where we're at. And uh, it's all because you guys. So thanks a lot. And we will see you all on the next video. So take care. Bye.